at some point in life we all seek knowledge to investigate. People lived in this ghoulish building for 142 years. Investigation can't get done just sitting on a park bench. Tomorrow, I'm going to do something I've never done thus far in my lifetime. I'm going to go inside a prison. I've never been to prison and I've never visited anyone in prison. But tomorrow, I'm going to go on a tour on one of the most infamous prisons. Hello, my name is Richard Hurd. I'll be your tour guide and narrator as you follow me to one of the most majestic buildings slash prisons ever built. Eastern State Penitentiary. It was open for 142 years housing inmates. It had lower level inmates, maybe you never heard of. And it also had inmates like Alphonse, Scarface, Capone an alleged gangster. It had an alleged bank robber named William Francis Slick Willie Sutton. It had an alleged murderer, female, Frida Frost, allegedly murdered her husband via poison. It had several notorious figures and figures in there for stealing horses, bootlegging in the 30s, alcohol. Now, a lot of women did jail time at Eastern State Penitentiary for various crimes, one of which was having an abortion, which was illegal then. And now, unbelievably, 50 years later, they may still be going back to jail for. Not only were they throwing people in jail who had an abortion, but also people who helped them perform them. Now, there was only one person that escaped from Eastern State Penitentiary that wasn't caught and brought back. Now, four or five sup supposedly and reportedly escaped in the late 1800s. But one notably that everybody going on record to say escaped and never was heard from again by the authorities was Leo Callahan, who allegedly tried to commit murder and had a minimum of 18 and a half years of service Eastern State. But he escaped with the gang of six after they built a wooden ladder, 30 foot ladder, escaping on the east side. 
there are many stories. Sometimes when the body dies, the soul stays in its final resting place. I attempted to watch TV the night before, but in actuality, the TV was watching me. My mind was on tomorrow. The morning was here and I was getting some apprehension to going, doing my investigation. But now there was no turning back. Necessary stop at Coffee Cream and Dreams. I sat down at first before proceeding, looking at how colossal the building was. As I was preparing myself to go inside Eastern State Penitentiary, on the grounds of the prison, kids were playing on the sliding board. I want you guys to see how massive, and this doesn't even justify it, how huge Eastern State Penitentiary is. It's humongous. Closing in 1970, after 142 years of incarceration. Open. Six days a week for tours. and to inspect the ruins of the Eastern State Penitentiary. After paying my admission fee, you get handed an 80 style Walkman and a device, and you get a narration from Emmy Award winning actor Steve Buscemi from Cell Blocks 1 to Cell Blocks 14, which is solitary confinement.
1,300 prisoners here, and only three died from the Spanish flu. And the reason was is that this hospital wing was monitoring what was coming, and they said, we are going to brace ourselves for this, because this is going to be worse than anyone's saying. So they started bringing back parts of the Pennsylvania system temporarily. They made sure that was in writing. And this is temporary, solitary confinement. Then they start focusing on social distancing, mask wearing, and standing six feet apart. This is the light fixture inside the operating room at Eastern State Penitentiary. It still swings and works unbelievably. Al Capone had his tonsils out here. I ventured off to cell block six, but I couldn't get to the stairway to heaven. learned a lot here during my tour that 650 prisoners died during the tuberculosis outbreak at Eastern State Penitentiary. There was no cure back then. There was no medications to take. The disease went through the prisoners like butter. Their lungs eventually collapsed as they became emaciated and died here. Sometimes freedom can be just waking up on a Saturday morning and getting a chicken biscuit and a vanilla milkshake. Someone once said, if you don't want to do the time, then don't do the crime. Take a good look at this man right here, because this man right here would be me if someone put a cage in front of my face. I think it would take no more than a week before I would lose my mind. And we do know some that are incarcerated are innocent. Wouldn't you lose your mind? Now reportedly, in the late 1800s, around four guys escaped from the Eastern State Penitentiary, including one that stole a suit and walked out the front gate, allegedly. Now, in 1923, the Gang of Six, led by Leo Callahan, built a 30-foot ladder, and they escaped on the east side of the building. How the warden and staff allowed them to build such a ladder is still unknown. They wasn't doing it to do a roofing job. Now all of the escapees were caught, including one in Honolulu, Hawaii. But Leo Callahan was never seen or heard from again from the authorities. Guard's key was the only way you were getting out of here. Anyone need a haircut?
Guess who apartment this was, or should I say jail cell, the one and only Scarface, Alphonse, Scarface Capone. Al Capone's uh, living quarters was uh, <laughs> quite amazing. Uh, others, uh, a lot of the cells were in ruins, uh, but his was... Uh, you know, uh, like somebody could be in there today. And, uh, the other cells were in ruins, you know, brick and mortar everywhere, uh, from the roof damage with it being condemned since 1971. Uh, somebody told me they did a little upkeep to Al Capone's cell, but, uh, all the furniture in there was the stuff, uh, that he he had attained uh from uh his stuff stuff he got from other inmates according to the tour so uh that was something uh being in scarface's uh living quarters when he was at the eastern state penitentiary <laughs> Now this cell room was quite ghoulish. A doctor had collected anything and everything that wasn't human that died at Eastern State Penitentiary. Bugs, bats, robins, anything your mind could comprehend. Solitary confinement. Going inside those uh, cells was hard to say, it's humbling, part terrifying, part unbelievable. Uh, to know that uh, human beings were living in something that small because of crimes they committed uh, that got them there, but still, uh, I went over to the, uh, solitary confinement in cell block 14, and man, that was, the cells were half the size of the other cells, which was like a matchbox, and you see the toilet, and where the sink area was, but the most disturbing thing was the cages was rattling. They, that was all locked off and you couldn't go down in solitary confinement because that was locked off. But you could look down the hallway and you heard the cages rattling and it, it was no wind current. That's the weirdest thing. And you, you, you heard people that wasn't there, there. Uh, Very, very strange. The souls were there. If you guess solitary confinement, your guess would be right. Time for a break. I'm going to go walk the yard. Clear my mind.
when I got home from prison on my first visit something started banging in my basement almost if somebody or something followed me home One of the weirdest things uh, when I was on cell block nine, uh, I paused several times by uh, cell block 848. For what it's worth, that's the number on the, uh, was on the little cell. And I just stood there uh, almost as if uh, there was a reason why I stopped there and I was checking out everything else but uh, this particular cell almost like was pulling me and calling me in. This is the cell I was referring to. You see that light in the back? It's like a force field and it felt like it was pulling me in that direction. This is the soup and food counter that the inmates ate at and this is an old stove still there where the chefs cooked for the inmates. And this was the lunchroom. You can see it's been quite damaged. went for a walk inside the flower garden on the east side of Eastern State Penitentiary. It was so peaceful and tranquil. Further down, believe it or not, is a playground where kids frolic with their parents nearby. Across the street is residential homes, but this definitely was a place now where your spirit could rest, unlike a lot of the inmates whose souls remain inside these brick walls. My investigation is over now, and I learned some things. Prison is not a place you want to be. If you've been in prison before, don't go back to that brick and mortar. There are souls there that linger. This building will always be towering and intimidating.